Uh, so we applied for a maximum amount of $10,000 and the idea was to really activate this area next to our squash court uh, for, for two main reasons is we want to show other squash centres that by bringing another activity to squash you can bring a new group of people in but also um, we wanted to activate this area in Tonsley and around the, the houses around this area, um, give them something to do, to, to exercise around here so it fit really well with the squash court. Uh, probably took us two or three hours to submit what we thought was a pretty strong application between a couple of employees. Um, it didn't take that long, it was quite easy and then the uh, application process was good, like we found out fairly quickly that we received the, the grant so we were really happy with that. We didn't really know about the grant until we sort of moved into this space. Um, so I'd, I would encourage any not-for-profit or um, sporting organisation or group that can apply. It's, it's a pretty easy process to, to gain a good amount of money you can do something really effective with. So we had to make a couple of small adjustments and the council was really easy to talk to and uh, really quick to get back to us. So um, with other grants we deal with other government groups and it's it's a bit daunting sometimes but um, Marin Council was really personal which uh, was good. I didn't really expect it from a council. By securing the 10,000 we were able to go to Tonsley and say we've got an idea to make this even better and they actually helped us out a little bit of funding as well so that was really helpful but it's really helped activate this area like we see uh, on the weekends there's a whole bunch of families coming through the area and not just on bikes or scooters they're jumping on the squash court and everyone's cycling through the gym equipment hopefully it's actually getting people to think a little bit more about fitness and getting active as a family